Venus. Sounds romantic, right? Named after the goddess of love. But land here for 10 seconds, and you'll experience something closer to the wrath of the underworld. Step outside your spaceship, and your suit begins to crumple like a soda can. The air is so dense it feels like swimming in hot soup. The pressure is 90 times that of Earth, equivalent to being 900 meters under the ocean. And the temperature? Over 460 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, even though Venus is farther from the sun. Why? Because of a little thing called the runaway greenhouse effect. Acid rain? Oh yeah. Let's say you brought a reinforced umbrella. Doesn't matter. Because it rains sulfuric acid on Venus. Not water. Acid. The kind that eats through skin, metal, and dreams. Luckily or unluckily. It evaporates before hitting the ground due to the insane heat. So it's more like being slowly poached in toxic steam than actually rained on. You can't even breathe wrong. The atmosphere? 96.5%. Carbon dioxide. One. Breath. And you re dead. Not because of poison. Your lungs physically can. T function here. And if they could, you D still suffocate before the pressure cooks. Your insides, the clouds above you, are dense enough to reflect most sunlight, but the heat still gets trapped. It S the cosmic equivalent of wrapping yourself in tinfoil and sticking yourself in a microwave. Death comes fast and loud. Let's imagine you survive the landing, the pressure, the heat, the acid. Good job. Now, listen to your bones crack as gravity crushes you. Venus is almost the same gravity as Earth, but with a thicker atmosphere that amplifies every little movement into a fight for your last breath. Death here isn't a moment. It's an opera, a slow-cooked tragedy set in a sulfuric oven. I tried to escape. LOL. I tried to crawl back to the lander, punch in the ignition code, make a dramatic escape. Spoiler. Electronics don't survive more than a minute on Venus. The control panel fried. The hatch jammed. Comms completely bricked. Didn't even get a chance to say, smash that like button. Guys, dying here leaves nothing. No body, no grave, not even ashes. Just atmospheric soup. Why Venus is so ruthless, science mode on. Venus started out a lot like Earth. Same size, similar core activity. But it's closer to the sun and its CO2 levels went off the charts. No plate tectonics means heat couldn't escape. It just built up. Then came the hell cycle. Rising temperature volcanic eruptions, more greenhouse gas, even more heat. Eventually, Venus became a failed Earth 2.0, a sealed pressure cooker of doom. This isn't just uninhabitable for humans. It's incompatible with life itself as we know it. Truth bomb. We've never really landed on Venus. Here is the truth. No, human has ever taken a step on Venus. The Soviet Venera. Missions landed probes there, and they barely lasted 127 minutes before turning to toast. Even NASA admits Venus is the most untouchable planet in the solar system. It s not a frontier for explorers. It s where machines go to die. So you still want to go? So if you absolutely insist on experiencing Venus death mode, all I can say is good luck and maybe pack some cheese. Who knows, the next astronaut might find your melted boot sole in a puddle of sulfuric acid. Closing thought. In the vastness of the universe, humanity is so small and fleeting. I hope the next generation can build upon the knowledge of those before us and contribute more to the exploration of the universe and the pursuit of science.